Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this dynamic loan amortization table like uh, this example here. So I have some input cells here in green. So you can change it. For example, you have some 50,000 loan amount. And you can choose uh, the frequency of payment, let's say monthly. Term in years is 3 and interest rate is just 5%. Then all of this will be automatically changed. Just press the refresh all and you will see here in the amortization table that should be 36 in periods and the total period is 36 the balance will be zero now if we change anything here for example you want quarterly refresh it again then the total period will be 12 that should be 12 and the remaining balance is zero so we're gonna do it in another workbook Okay, so uh, this is the workbook that we're going to use to make this dynamic loan amortization table. So the first step is to actually make this uh, table here. Just list it down, the frequency of payment, and then the equivalent number of uh, periods, if it's weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and so on. After that, um, choose that, and then format it as table. Any format will do. Make sure that my table has headers is uh, checked and then click OK. So that's it. That's OK now. Then the next thing after that is to make another table in a name manager for this uh, frequency of payment. It is monthly, weekly, and so on. So choose this uh, portion here and then uh, go to name manager in the formulas and define name. It automatically has frequency of payment on its name and on the refers to just choose uh, starting from weekly up to the yearly so disregard the headers and then click OK so you have that already so just have a simple data validation go to data data validation and then choose list and then on the source use the indirect function so equal sign indirect and then refer it to k4 which is the frequency of payment name that we have in our name manager and then click ok and uh, that's it now the list should be reflected in the data validation cell here and uh, that's okay now let's choose semi-monthly for that now, um, the next uh, step is to calculate this uh, cells here, frequency of payment per year. That should be a simple uh, lookup. I'm going to use VLOOKUP because uh, we have a very simple table. The lookup value will be any value in the frequency of payment, whatever the user chooses. And then comma, the table array will be here. Comma, we need column 2 here. Press 2, comma, leave it blank because that's a false or exact match and then close it. That's it, enter, and you have this frequency of payment per year for a semi-monthly uh, option. Now for the total period that is simple, just multiply this frequency of payment per year over the term in years, the total term in years, and enter, that's it. Now for this loan summary, we will compute that later on, but... Uh, Let's proceed first with the table itself, the amortization table. So uh, in the amortization table, we're going to need uh, the help of Power Query. So um, before that, before we proceed to the Power Query, just make sure that this uh, period here, total period, will also be put in a name manager. So I'm going to put myself here in this period here, whatever is the period. And then I will go to formulas again and then defining. I will change the name into period and then I will click OK. So that's it. You have this uh, save in, in your name manager. Now let's go to the uh, Power Query. Power Query editor to go to the Power Query. Just go to data and then choose this from table and range. My cell here is in a total period. So uh, go, go into that. Once you're here in the Power Query, just right click and choose this drill down. Then go to Home tab and then close and load to. Then choose this only create connection and click OK. Now after that, go again to get data. Then from other sources, choose this blank query at the bottom. Once you're in a Power Query, change the properties name into periods with S and then put this formula equal sign bracket one dot dot period. That means a list of one 
up to whatever is the number in the period, which is the period here that we created connection earlier. And then go to home and then close and load to. This time we're going to put it in an existing uh, sheet. So uh, choose this table and then existing worksheet and then refer the sheet into B19. Let's put it in here. Click OK. So this is the format. We can change that. Let's change it into another formatting. Let's say uh, this format and then here so that it will be the same as my example. So that's it. Now I'm going to extend this uh, row here. That's too many. Uh, I mean a column. Okay. I'm going to extend it. Sorry. Let's change it. Uh, let's make it quarterly for easier um, presentation. I'm going to extend that. And then I'm going to copy the, the headings and place it here. Okay. So I have this uh, payment. I'm going to delete the excess. Okay. And then... <clears throat> That's it. Now we have that um, complete column. For the payments, what we're going to do is an if statement plus the PMT formula. So uh, basically, we, we will be writing the if, if formula and then if the period here has a value or not, that should be uh, run in the if statement. If uh, there is a value, if there is no value, I mean equal to zero, then that should be zero. And then otherwise, compute the PMT. So the PMT requires the rate. This is the rate divided by the frequency of payment per year. Let's divide that. Then lock it first. All of it. Comma. The number of periods will be the total period, which is also named as period. Comma. And then the next is the loan amount here. Okay, and then close it, close it, uh, enter. That should be, uh, that is incorrect because you need to lock this loan amount and then enter. That should be negative because um, because uh, that means a deduction on your part. Just uh, make it as positive instead of an equal sign, make it as negative and that's it. Now format this numbering here. This is simple format. And that's it. <laughs> now for the principal payment, that's the same thing. Use the if statement. If there is a value here, if there is no value here, I mean zero, then zero. Otherwise, use the PPMT to get the principal payment. It's not PMT, it's PPMT. And then uh, the rate, that's the same. Lock it, divided by the period. Lock it again, comma, the period itself uh, pertaining to the uh, the period that you are computing in this in this case period one and then comma we need the total number of period which is the period here comma and then the loan amount lock the loan amount close and close it enter that's it that's again negative okay that's it now for the interest payment it's almost the same as the principal payment so I'm gonna copy it then paste it here but instead of PPMT, I'm going to use IPMT. Enter and that's it. And then for the cumulative, for the cumulative interest, okay. the cumulative interest, <coughs> what we're going to do here is to have uh, an expandable cell. So I'm going to use the sum here and just. Uh, have the sum of all interest payment per period. So I'm going to refer, not referring it into a cell like that, but uh, I'm using I'm manually uh, typing E20 for the interest E20 and E20 and then close it and then I'm going to lock this part. I'm creating an expandable cell and enter. That's it. That's the cumulative uh, payment for interest. For the remaining balance, we're going to have this total loan amount here, lock it again, and then minus the sum of all in principal payments made. So uh, I'm going to use again uh, an expandable cells. 
So, I'm gonna write D20 in reference for the principal. So, D20 up D20. And that's it. Then, close this uh, first part here and enter. And that's it. You can see, uh, as you can see, in period 8, on the last period, the remaining balance is 0. And that is correct. So, uh, that's it. Now, uh, on this part, the total payment is actually uh, the sum of all the payments made, right? So, I'm going to copy this uh, portion here, the PMT here. Copy it, Control c put it here, then make it negative so that the output will be positive. And then, I will multiply all this payment to, all, to the total period that we have. And that's it. That's the total payment. Let's check it. Okay, that's equal. Now, for the principal payment, that's equal to this principal payment, but it, it is also equal to the loan amount. Just copy the loan amount, then the difference of these two is the interest. It's also equivalent to this uh, interest here. And uh, that's it. That's complete. That's the uh, loan amortization uh, table as a whole. You can change it if you want. Let's say monthly, or this case. And then again, refresh it. Now the table is automatically updated. 24 periods, balance is zero. So you have like 10,000, and you have a monthly here, and term. The term is five years. And there's it is five, and then refresh it, and you have it. Changing period 60, 60 months over five years. Remaining balance is uh, zero. And uh, that's it. Just uh, hide it. And you have this uh, dynamic loan uh, amortization table. And I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time. And thanks.